Hello, and welcome back to Tech by Pike. Today, we have another gaming mouse. It is the Haiti by G-Wolves. Let's go ahead and check this bad boy out. The box is pretty slick looking. It is a wireless gaming mouse. So, let's get into it. So what we have in the box is obviously the mouse, a micro USB cable, a the user document for it, and then some stickers. Nothing fancy, nothing crazy. I do like their packaging. It seems nice and sleek. Everything seems wrapped up. Oh wow. And an aluminum pin. There's a weird smell to it. <laughs> this is probably the user guide. There's grips for the mouse, so that's pretty cool. I'll have to put those on. I like the dots on there. The style is pretty cool. Feels like uh, foam with a little texture, maybe a little rubbery. Not bad. And then we have some spacers for the bottom of the mouse. Here's our cord. It has a cloth finish. Feels really nice. Looks really long. Oh, that's the USB port. That's cool. With the USB plug-in. Wow. Pretty fancy. It's actually kind of nuts how they did that. Here's the cord. The little USB dongles in here. That's pretty cool. When I first pulled the cord out though, this little metal sleeving for it was left inside the port. So that's kind of concerning. Maybe not built good. Maybe I yanked too hard. Interesting. And then you can unplug that side. Hmm. Well, we'll have to give it a go. Let's see if it even still works. A little concerning that it just popped off so easily. I really do like the pin though. How they package this was cool. Ooh, this looks like a smaller mouse. Oh man, but it is pretty. Honeycomb finish. Looks like it was uh, spray painted. You got the blue into the black. Kind of looks like a sky. It's pretty neat. Your only switch on this is on the bottom, on and off. It is wireless, but you can plug it in, in there. You have your DPI setting, your roller, and then your two buttons right here. It's a, it's a smaller mouse, but man, it actually feels really nice. Honeycomb, you got the, the honeycomb on both sides. Honeycomb through the top. When I opened the cord and pulled that thing off and it just came out of the USB not connected, it kind of concerning, but man, I really hope this uh, works and it's comfortable. And we have these stickers to put on it. I don't know if it really needs it, 
I mean, the honeycomb is a pretty nice texture already. But we're definitely going to give it a go. So they have stickers for your buttons up here. They have stickers for the sides. And stickers for this back piece. I do want to plug it in though first to see the RGB lights to see if those stickers are going to hide some really cool uh, some really cool lights coming out of this honeycomb first. So let's go ahead and get that started real fast. So I got the mouse plugged in. I turned off all the lights and there's no RGB lights. That was a huge opportunity missed I think. Just because the paint job on the mouse with the specs and the blue down here making it look kind of like a sky. Maybe even just having some white lighting underneath the cage would have been really cool. But there's nothing. So opportunity drastically lost there. Alright, so I put on some stickers. We have the two on the side and then the two up top. I did try and put these stickers here, but man, once I put my hand on it, it was really uncomfortable because you can just feel the edge of the stickers. One goes here and one goes here and you can feel the edge of the stickers right here just on my palm. And it was annoying when I was moving my hand around because you could just kind of feel it scratching and that was uncomfortable. So I'm not going to do the stickers here. We put the uh, stickers on the side though, it definitely, you know, there's a big improvement. I can definitely feel that it's more grippy than just the honeycomb texture. So we're going to go ahead and play some games. Just off of first express impressions, the mouse is, it's okay. It's small, it's, it's actually quite small. Um, the buttons are a little stiff, definitely the uh, rolling button, it's quite stiff in the middle. I'm sure it might loosen up over time. The response seems to be quite nice though, so I have nothing bad to say about that. With the tape on it, it actually is pretty comfortable. I have a feeling if I didn't have the tape on it, the mouse might be a little bit too slippery. You get some texture from the honeycomb, but I don't think it's enough for you to grip onto the mouse. Oop, 61 Hunter. Dab for the haters. Nice. <laughs> But I don't think this mouse is all that bad. I think if you're going to get it, it the, you need to put the tape on it for the texture itself. I don't know about putting tape on this back end, though, just because it scratches against the, your palm. And that's pretty awkward, and it uh, doesn't feel too great. I am kind of bummed there are no RGB lights. I feel like that was a huge missed opportunity. I think my final thoughts on the mouse is that it's okay. It It is small, but it has the exact same generic cutout brand, you know, the same style that we've seen hundreds of times now. Nothing's really, like, sticking out about this mouse where it's like, wow, I need it. I think the paint job that they put on there is really cool. You know, the stickers are a good touch, you know, got their logo on the side, the stickers are decorated with stuff, you know, it, it, they are good stickers. Um, no RGB lights, but like, the design of this mouse is so common, there's nothing sticking out about this mouse where I'm just like, oh, you gotta go and buy it right now. I think if you're looking for just, an, you know, a basic mouse that you're gonna travel with, I think this could do the trick. Hello everyone, and thank you for watching. If you wouldn't mind liking and subscribing, we would greatly appreciate it. 
and have a good rest of your day. Thank you.